Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, I'm doing a collab with Chef Tovia Aurora, and it's a dessert collab. So, for my collab, we're doing a cherry and peach clafouti. It's a French dessert. But over on uh, Aurora's page, he's doing a mixed berry buckle. So, after you watch my video, go see his berry buckle. So, in an iron skillet, I brushed the inside, the walls, and the bottom with two tablespoons of melted butter. Then I dusted over two tablespoons of sugar over top of the melted butter, and then I laid my fruit in. So we're going to use some peaches and cherries. Now I've already went ahead and pitted my cherries. You need about three to four cups of fruit, whatever you're going to use. And today I just chose cherries and peaches, and these are just... A can of regular clean peaches that was sliced. I drained and rinsed it real good with all the syrup and got all that stuff off of it. And then I pitted my cherries and I just rearranged it in the bottom of my cast iron skillet on top of the melted butter and sugar. Now let's go over to the blender and we're going to make the batter. In my blender, I'm going to go four large eggs. One cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of milk, and I'm using whole milk, but you can use 2% or heavy cream. A half a cup of sugar, I'm using Splenda. Two tablespoons of melted butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, or one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of almond extract. Or you can do two teaspoons of the cherry liqueur, Kish. I think it's how I'm saying it, but I'm just doing vanilla extract. So two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then you just need a fourth of a teaspoon of some salt. Top one, and we're just going to mix it up. I'm going to take a spoon down. Throws that flour up. Just to make sure. Give it another little mix. to use your blender. You can do it in a bowl and whisk it. Now we're going to come over. Let me do it with another hand so you can see it. And pour it over it. Now this goes into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. I'll come back when it's done. Alright, the kaflutie just came out of the oven and I'm going to let it cool for about 10 to 20 minutes. And it puffs up and as it cools, it's going to deflate. So don't worry about that. And then I'll show you how I'm going to serve it. See how I told you it's going to deflate? We're going to dust it with some powdered sugar. I'm going to come in here and slice. I'm going to come in here and cut a piece. Then we're going to dollop a little bit of Cool Whip. You can serve it with fresh whipped cream or even scoop a bit, scoops of vanilla ice cream along the side. You can serve it warm or at room temperature or chilled and cold. You can use any fruit like raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, nectarines. It's totally up to you. So there you have it. My cherry peach kaflutie. Make sure you drop by Chef Tovia Avar's channel and see his mixed berry buckle.